Good morning, everyone. Hopefully your Sunday is going well so far. And thanks again for joining us for WIS News this morning. I'm meteorologist Chandler Jordan out of the First Alert Weather Center, and we're still watching Hurricane Tammy bringing some very heavy rain, gusty winds and flooding to the Lesser Antilles yesterday. The system now to the east of the Virgin Islands and Hispaniola and Tammy will continue to slowly move northward as we head through the rest of the weekend and into the start of this upcoming week. Now there are some warmer waters near the Lesser Antilles, which is why it's forecasted that Tammy strengthens into a Category 2 storm by some point tomorrow. And then as it moves farther to the north, eventually getting closer to Bermuda by Thursday and Friday, some slightly cooler waters, which is why the system is expected to weaken as it moves through the Atlantic Ocean throughout this week. Something that we'll watch closely, but the good news is that almost all of our computer guidance still keeping Tammy well away from the eastern seaboard. Another area of low pressure trying to develop in the southwest Caribbean Sea. The latest update from the National Hurricane Center giving slightly better odds of development of this system. A 50% chance over the next seven days. It's been pretty stationary just to the north and northwest of Panama. Something that we'll watch closely as we head through the rest of the weekend. If the system were to somehow continue to strengthen and become a name storm, the next name that we have on our list is Vince closer to home with our downtown tower camera. We're pointed towards the fairgrounds this morning. Gates open at 12 o'clock for the last day of the fair, and thankfully we have started to warm up from the chilly start to the day that we had out there. Some of us in the low and mid 60s like in Orangeburg and Sumter. It's as warm as 66 and 67 degrees out there. We're hanging on to a few clouds, but notice the general motion of our thicker cloud cover is to the south and to the east. So we will get rid of these clouds by the end of the afternoon. They're not going to be hanging with us for much longer, and it's another perfect day to get out to the fair. We still have partly cloudy skies when the gates open here in about an hour and a half. But once we get into the afternoon, nothing but sunshine, and that'll help us warm on up into the mid 70s by the end of the day. And then once we get into this evening and the night tonight, temperatures starting to cool off into the low 60s by 8 o'clock. So if you happen to be headed to the fair and you plan on being out there past sunset, make sure you have a jacket handy because temperatures do fall off quickly once we get past sunset and into the night tonight. Bone dry through the rest of your weekend. Pretty much almost all of next week dry as well into next weekend staying dry. And then our next frontal boundary doesn't look to arrive into the Midlands until the following Monday or Tuesday. Tuesday, and that looks to be our only chance of rain across the region for the next 10 days. So hopefully you were able to pick up on some much needed rainfall this past Friday, because if not, we're looking dry as we head through a good portion of this week. Mid 70s in the forecast for this afternoon. Chilly tomorrow morning, mid 40s as you head out the door, but sunshine gets us back into the 70s. More low 70s for your Tuesday by Wednesday and Thursday of this upcoming week. Upper 70s and we continue to warm up Friday. We hit 80 next weekend looking pretty warm for this time of the year with low 80s in the forecast and then we'll look ahead to a cold front doing what it can to try and cool us off. Make sure you stay right there. Your Sunday morning sports wrap is coming up after the break.